Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. Here we are back in our uh, capital ship, the Nessie. Thanks for the suggestions for the acronyms. We'll take some more. NESI, acronyms for Nessie. Greatly appreciate it. Good morning, Gold Dragon. Here we go. Another week of streaming going on, Monday through Friday. Mornings from 9 to 11 a.m. arrows at a time, and then 1 to 3 arrows at a time as well in the afternoon. Uh, power. We've been uh, busy with all the assembly, the refinery, the storage. Uh, I've talked about power in the comments over the weekend. And it looks like we probably should have ourselves a couple of uh, reactors in here too, right? Just more. Morris, hello. Good morning. So I was wondering, is one reactor enough for this ship or is two reactors what I should probably do in the ship? I don't know. What's going to be more powerful enough to take care of the ship? You think two or just one? I'm thinking, I don't know. I have no idea. But I've, I've done some block work here. I've got a doorway here, hallway, door to get in and out of this back uh, cargo area. I've got gyroscopes set up in each of these corners here. And then I have gyroscopes set up in these corners up here at the front of the cargo area. Our stairs have not vanished again. They've, they've stayed put this time around. Uh, so a gyro there and a gyro there. So I've got four back here. And then I put a gyro up here on top of the cargo container for this middle chunk of the ship. And if we go up front here, we'll take a look at this up here as well. If we go through the hall, jump on the stairs or the ladder. I put a gyro, a couple of gyros up here in the nose of the ship to the cockpit area as well. I think that looks like it's going to be enough. Nice. Um, so what do you think? I think this looks pretty good. I think in terms of the gyroscopes, uh, two, four, six of them in here probably is going to be enough. We'll see if we can get all the pieces, parts for that. I'm not sure if I've got everything made that we can do, but we could do it. I uh, went out this morning and already did um, some grind work. Went out and got some nickel, some iron, um, and ice. Grabbed up a bunch of ice, too. So we've got that taken care of. There we go. Beautiful. There's one. One. There we go. And back out again. I should have enough pieces, parts to get a couple more of these going here, too. At least started. I don't know why I'm flying all the way to the front of the ship. I could do it right here. There we go. And another one over here. We'll get these taken care of first. Oh, it needs steel tubes, huh? Uh, can I grab those? I thought I marked it for four of them. Maybe so. I might have to clear my cache and start over again. Uh, I need four motors. I don't think I've got motors being made. I think that's the problem here. Let's go see about getting some motors made. I'm going to go back to the main base to do that. Everybody have a good weekend? I had a good weekend. Six gyros, one reactor, huh? You think just one? One reactor should power enough, be enough power for this ship? I was wondering about that because I thought, you know, having that many could be a bit much. Having two could be too much. Uh, let's do a hundred of these guys right here. There we go. Get those guys going. See if I can grab those parts out of here as we go by, since it's had time to make them now. Did I get some... I, I did not get the motors, so let's go ahead and... Let's drop everything in, and we'll go ahead and pick up again. Did I pick up motors that time? I don't think I probably did. I did. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Got them. Got what we need. B. 
Beautiful. All right, and then I got two more of these up front. So we'll do one reactor. We'll see how that turns out. If not, we could I could grind it down and put it. Um, I could put the configuration in the way I've got it set up right now. But we'll see what we need to do with it. I'm going to go ahead and do I have that in my cache still? I don't. Okay, so I'm going to go right click, right click. Okay, I should probably put what I can inside this. Oh, looks like I got a whole one right in here. All right, so I only need one more. Uh, let's clear the cache again. The planner. There we go. Let's just do that right there. Okay, we'll have the gyros done and in place and ready to go, and then we'll work on that reactor. I don't know if I really need the reactor done today, but I would like to at least have it where it's going to be. Someone reminded me, don't forget your reactors. They're huge. And I was like, ooh, that's a good point to, you know, make sure we do have those in place. And I have plenty of batteries, you think, huh? I would, yeah, I've got three, I think five of them in here. Okay, so down here is where I've got the reactor set up. And I thought maybe what I would do is I'll pipe it off of here and we'll put it back here about a block away from the cargo container. So let's go ahead and grind this down. We'll get rid of this stuff right here. And if I take the conveyor and I put a, a pipe here, that should give us what we need. Let's go control. I think it's three. Yeah, eight. If I take this guy and put him on here. Do that right there. And then I put the conveyor on here next. Like that. And then what I'll do is I'll go control one. And I'll put a big boy block underneath that guy right there. I think I can fit the reactor up on top here. Do I have that still on my hotbar? I came in for just a little bit over the weekend to work on this. It looks like I can put this up here. That's going to fit right up to the ceiling, but I think that would work good right there. So let's go right click and right click. I think I should have the parts actually in my inventory for this, right? Let's do that again anyways. Make sure we have a good foundation for it. And it'll sit up there like that. What do you think? That get, that's gets it kind of out of the way. And then it can be fed through the conveyor to get the uranium that it needs when we get that taken care of. Hello, Saber Wolf. Thanks for being here this morning. Hope you're doing well. Do just like that. And then battery-wise, yeah, I've got, uh, what do I have? Three here and then two up in the living quarters. So that's five batteries. You think that's enough, huh? Five batteries? And then I was wondering, okay, so if we run out of, well, if we run out of uranium, we're kind of dead in the water. Um, dead in space, actually. And I thought, well, maybe a hydrogen backup engine. But a hydrogen backup engine is not going to do me any good to power the ship, to move the ship. Uh, I've got to have uranium for the um, ion thrusters. So... A hydrogen engine in here, though, would help us to keep the functions in the ship going. So I was thinking maybe I should put one of those in here as a backup like we have in the main asteroid base there. What do you guys think of that? And then over here, I'll let you answer that question for me. Grab those. And can I reach that from here? We got a door here. Got a door with a, a hallway with a light. We do that right there. And then that's going to block us off. That's going to cut us off. We're going to be able to go through here, of course, and go into the back cargo area of the ship, where the uh, smaller ship is going to be. I'm also trying to figure out what kind of door I want to use for this, too. Back here. There is a hangar door that is not the big hangar doors. It's the it's a smaller one. I'll show it to you in just a second. It's what I was considering. If I keep the ship to the size that will be able to fit through that doorway, I, I think that it'll help me keep the ship under control in terms of uh, just size, just the size of it. Let's go on down this way. I put a staircase in here so we can come in from the outside there to get in. Be 
Beautiful. All those are taken care of. So now we've got our back cargo area here, and then let's do a few of these. There we go. Let's do a few of those as well. So you guys get kind of a feel for that also. I use those interior blocks. There we are. That'll be our wall. That's going to block us off from there. So I think that's uh, that's 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 good right there. Let's go. Let's get our catwalks out. Now, I think we finished doing what we were doing over here. I'm pretty sure we did, but I still want to be able to get over to the assembler. So if I do you there, I could do you right there. Put you there. And then I could do the plain one here with a staircase going down here. Let's see here. Let's get this uh, over here. There we go. Nope. There we go. So I've got a catwalk right here that gets me over to my assembler here. And I can still come downstairs and get to anything down into here. And we'll do the same thing on this side. I think that would work just fine. Do that. little interior work today to get this kind of, you know, figured out. Something like that right there. Easy peasy, come down and we can walk out in here and have plenty of space for us right there. So we need this guy right here. And you there. You there. And back to the flat one that's just plain. There it is right there. And then I need the staircase. Uh, number six. I think we've got what we're looking for here. At least I think I've got what I'm looking for. Do the stairs. Uh, stairs. That's a conveyor. It's not going to help me. There we go. Uh, looks like I need some uh, pipes made as well. Uh, let's go to... Now, I only get one assembler up here. What do I do to get my other... Oh, hold on a second. Assembler, I see. I see what it is. Okay, so this assembler. Did you only make 52 of those, or did I just use a bunch of them up? I think I just used a bunch of them up. What's going on in Assembler 6? Nothing? Okay. Assembler 3, let's go ahead and have them make... Uh, what did I need? The small pipes? We'll do 100 of those guys right there. There we go. Some steel tubes. Right, let's get the rest of that. Okay, there we go. I think that looks good right there. Now, what about lighting? I don't have the light on that one, that one, that one. Okay, so I need the lighting put on number... Let's go number two here. That will work. We've been, I'm even using these parts quite a bit here. And we'll grab you. And I was thinking that we could put these guys sort of right over in here. It, that's not going to work, huh? I can put it up there, top of the assembler uh, where the uh, hydrogen tank is up there. That might not be too bad of a spot for it. It'll shine down on us, and that could be that could be a good thing. Right there, we do one there, and then we'll put one over here too. go we do that right there and then I'll go in and brighten these up in the uh, control panel for this and we'll get this all nice and lit up right here 
The other thing we're going to need is, well, we're going to need more lights for sure. I was going to use the hallway blocks in here, but to be honest, they really don't make much sense to have a bunch of hallway blocks in here because why would I be in a hallway, right? I'm guessing he means put a conveyor junction in the wall made of interior blocks. Uh, oh, right. Okay, sure. Yeah, we could put another conveyor right there and then just feed from the pipe here to there. Sure, we could do that. Uh, wait, matter of fact, we could do that right now. That's kind of what I thought he meant, but wasn't sure. So let's go... I guess right about here. And I could put a conveyor right in there, correct? Do we have conveyors still out? Yeah, we do. Number seven. Right there. Grab the parts for that right there. And we'll throw this in here. Okay, and then... I want to put you right there, and I'm going to turn you around right there. I like these because they've got that extra little bit of, uh, you know, added look to them. They look pretty nice. I like them. Do that right there. Now we're piping through the wall. Uh, and then I guess I could drop it down and bring it across and leave it just kind of open and then have a conveyor on here and we'll bring the ship in through here. Now I was going to show you guys that door I found that I think I might want to use. Keep me kind of under control in terms of how big of a ship I'm going to make. Let's go to we'll go number three. Uh, door. There was a hangar door. Where is that at? Uh, you know what? I'm going to just type that in. This one right here. This guy right here. Okay, so we've got this. This one right here is the one I'm looking at. We've got a few choices here. But I thought this gate, that's what it is. It's a gate. I thought this might work out pretty good right here. Uh, and then it keeps us tucked inside here a little bit. And again, like I said, it should keep my size of my ship down a little bit so I don't get too crazy with it. Be nice and small, so it's going to fly in here, and then we've got a little bit of maneuvering room around here, too. What do you think? There we go. Awesome. Okay, so I think if I had this in here, which we are going to have this in here, I would put the panel kind of right inside the doorway as I came through. Um... However, we could be coming from either direction. I guess I could put a button panel on either side to, uh, you know, open and close this hangar door. This is just a tiny little guy. Number six is this guy right here. I like that one. That's pretty cool looking. Oh, I do like that one. We could put him right here. So as we come through this door, we, uh, we can hit the button and have the hangar door open up. I need some interior plates for that, though. If I put it right here. Like that. So now I need to go into... Can I? What, what can I do with this? I can push... Oh, I see. Okay, sweet. Okay, so I need to go in and, and get these hangar doors grouped together. Uh, let's go into here and control panel. We got hangar, airtight hangar door. Right there, we're going to group the block group is... Uh, we'll just call it the Nessie hangar door. Do that, and then back to, okay, that's going to work there, and then I got to go back into here, correct, and then I would do groups, and tick thruster, wheel thrust, welders, weld thrust, lights, Tick thrusters, tick hydro tanks, spotlights, lights, lights, thrusters. Well, where are the hangar doors?
be down here, wouldn't it? At the bottom? Group menu. Did I save the group? I thought I did. I thought I saved it. Oh, you know what? I bet I didn't. I bet I didn't. Hold on. Hold on. I think I pushed the wrong thing. Let's do that. Let's try that again. Um, hanger. I didn't hit save. No, I did not. Okay, so this was uh, Nessie. There we go. All I did was hit um, return on the keyboard. I didn't save it, actually. Okay, now let's try that. Now I should be able to go groups, uh, welders, hangar doors. There we go. Okay, so I do that. Block on, off. I can use open, open, close. There it goes. So I can do that right there, huh? Oh, that's awesome. Those are kind of sexy, huh? I like that a little bit. I do. They fit nice and flush over here. And I can even add blocks. I bet I could put a block on top. If I put a block on top of that, does, does that call cause the old uh, clangaroo from happening, you know? Oh, it doesn't look like I'll be able to put anything on. Well, hmm. You can put a block on top of it, huh? Okay. Doesn't seem to want to sit on it though, huh? Oh, I need steel plates. Okay. Let's try it. See if there's anything we could do with it to just kind of dress it up a little bit so it looks nice in the back of her. Uh, I guess what I could do, let's go to number seven. If I do this guy here. Then I get the, I think that's actually number, number six here. There's this guy here. Then what I could do is, that, hmm. That wants to go like that, and that wants to go like that. So I need to actually put just a regular old half slab in here, huh? Little half slab. Like that. And that would give that out a little bit of a bump out right there. And protect the doors too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's just the blocks in there. Oh, I need to get those. It didn't grab them. It didn't grab them. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Now, I just dropped down here. And I'm thinking I can add a little extra lip onto the back here on this end here, too. We would come in and hit the button. We'd close that door up. Oh, I like that. Okay, I like that better than the hangar door. I think I like that better. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, okay, those are nice. Yeah, I know the size isn't big. Again, though, I don't want my ship to get too big. It's not, I know, it's the, it's the, it's a small door, but the other door was small as well. If I could keep the ship pretty streamlined and very small, we should be able to do this. I don't want a big ship back in here. 
I don't want a big ship in this this cargo area here. If I find it's it's too small, then we could change our minds. That's the beauty of it, right? And then I've got that uh Where are you? Oh, there you are. This is going to be just a little bit of extra room to stand if I needed to out there. I didn't want it to be a massive ship. Any of it to be massive. Like that. We do that. Can we close that and get out before it actually closes all the way? Now, I wonder if I should put a button out here, too, so as we approach, I can hit a button on it and have it open up. I should be able to do that, right? Um, hmm. Where would I put that, though? Maybe it'd be better off just to pull up and then go inside, hit the button, come back out, grab the ship, and go back into it. There's probably a sensor I could put on here, too, but now that I've got these blocks here, a sensor's not going to sit flush on these, would it? It wouldn't sit flush here. Can I actually hit this with my fingers and with just by pushing this way? No, you've got to have a button for it, huh? Okay. Hmm. Where could I put a button out here to do that? Where could I put another one of these to do that? I don't want it up there because that just doesn't make sense. It's going to block out even more space for me to be able to get to it, to get in and out. You can put the sensor inside with the trigger outside and still reach you. Sensor inside, huh? Jeez, I've never played with the sensors before. This is the sensor. I put that inside like say on the floor or up on the ceiling towards the back here the radius of that sensor would come out of the ship be able to see me as I approach and then open the door for me <laughs> yeah I, I will lock myself out of the ship the range is enormous If I were to put it, say, right here. Energy low. There she is, ruining the day, but saving my life. <laughs> there we go. Since they're on the floor. All right, well, I'm going to need help on this whole thing here. I've never put a sensor in. I know you guys wanted me to put sensors on the base so that as we run back and forth through the doors and stuff, it would have uh, it would have the ability to open and close those things for me. It's looking a little more finished in here, though, huh? I like that. I'm tempted to take this catwalk and actually stretch it down this way, uh, take this railing off and just kind of run it all the way along down here so that we've got extra floor space. We've got this, but then we've got catwalk along here all the way down. What I'm thinking about is I go back and forth through here. Uh, if I, so on the floor, not up here. I forgot to grab the pieces parts. If you set it upright. So this would be better off on the floor, is what you guys I think are trying to tell me here. If I were to put this down here. In the back? Maybe back in here. It's fine where it is.
Wow. Okay, so... Um... <laughs> oh, man. Hanger? Do I use this here? It's upside down. Okay. What's it got here? Left extent, right extent, bottom extent, top extent. Block group. Okay, so this is where I would put uh, the hangar door block group. Uh, zero from front. Uh, okay, hold on. Front zero. Doesn't go to zero. I guess I can right. Can I right click this and and then? Uh, Don't remember how to do that. There's a way to write in here. Eight top. Top is eight. Okay. Top zero, back eight. Left five, right five. Okay, that's already on, it's already set to five. Didn't have to touch that. Left and right five. Bottom is. Let's see, front zero, back eight, top zero, bottom eight. To eight. Uh, okay, doesn't matter. Point one's fine. Control or uh, alt. Okay, top is zero, bottom is eight. If you go into info, you can make the area. The sale visible. If you go into info, you can make the area visible. Ah, uh, info. Where the hell is info at? Toggle block on off. Cool. Okay. Show block in terminal. Show block in color. Uh, I want to name this sensor anyways. This is going to be named um, Nessie. We'll just name that Nessie sensor. Just so it's got a name on it so I don't lose it. I don't have any others, but we'll keep it there. Uh, if you go into info, you can make the air visible. Okay, visible. Sam on Twitch is all good. Now go lower and find setup actions. Now go lower and find setup actions. Floating objects, detect small ships, detect stations, detect subgrids, detect asteroids, detect owner, detect friendly, detect neutral, detect enemy. Setup action is at the top. There we go. Setup actions. Okay. And then I would grab the hangar doors. Is that right? Groups. Hangar door. And open close. Or just open. Probably just open, right? I mean, we don't want it to... We don't want open close. I want it to see me from the outside, especially. So that, as I pull up, it opens for me. But then I'm fine with getting out of the ship once we're inside Nessie. And then going over and hitting the button to close it. So just open. You're saying open and then close? Like that?
Left slot is on enter, right is on leave. So is this, does this look good? Timer on the door, then the sensor can trigger the timer block. Oh boy, this is getting to be a lot. Um, I just want it to open and close. I don't want it to be timed or anything else. If it opens, that's great. It doesn't need to... I can close it myself. Will it, will it see me open? And did I keep all that situated in here? I did. Okay. Alright, so it should see me, right? That's pretty tight. The field is kind of small. You're right about that. I don't want it to close off the sensor. I just want it to open. I see where closing it would be nice as I leave. It would close it. Um, but yeah. Let's go back in here and try that. Uh, set up actions. Let's get rid of this right here. And you can't set it to open close with it unless you put a timer block on here, huh? Okay, so then if I do that, I can come over here. There's no point in having this button then if I'm going to be doing it this way. You just turn closed off. This should only open at the moment, correct? There we go. That is what I want it to do. Okay, I am going to need the close, though, huh? I mean, I, we could leave it open while we're away from the ship. But the idea is, yeah, to probably have it closed down behind me. That would be the coolest thing, and it would look good and all that good stuff, huh? Yeah, I know. Um, talking about closing it from the outside. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. It needs a bigger radius. I need to improve the radius on it so it sees me from a little further away. Let's take care of that first. Let's put this up on eight, I guess. Click on info. Oh, there we go. Show center of mass, show gravity range, show sensor field range. There we go. I obviously didn't do that right. So show sensors, field range, show antenna range, so grid, so distance for friendly antennas, center of mass, show field range. It should show me this, right? Let's go back down to the sensor. Thank you for being patient with me. This is very new to me. Never done this before. It's a lot of information in here to look at. Okay, so, 
Toggle block on off, show block in terminal, show block in toolbar, in sensor, show on HUD, on. Info. I should be able to, now should I be able to see this? Okay, now it looks like there's a, there's a red, okay, there's a red, okay, good, 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 good. Thank you for putting that out here for me. Okay, so I want it to be much bigger than that. I want it to come out a little bit and down a little bit too. So, let's see. What if I crank all these up? Let's see what happens when I do this. It's going to be, of course, too big, but let's let's do this. Back extent, front extent. If I do all that, what do I wind up with here? I got a huge, 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 massive radius for me to do this. So, which one is it that's inside here that I want to bring closer to the door? That would be... Is this the back or the front? The front, huh? Okay, so the front. Front extent. Let's bring that all the way down to. Let's bring them down. To, let's bring them down to ten. Let's go to ten and see what happens here. Front equals inside. Back equals outside. Okay, back is outside. Front is inside. So front. Uh, I'm going to put that at, at zero. Yeah, zero. Now let's see what that gives me for a radius on here. Now as I pull up into the ship, pull up to the ship and from any direction. Oh, the bottom is a little, little low, but if I come into here, it should work, huh? Let's go ahead and close it. We'll go out there and... I want it to, you know, see me coming from a little bit of a distance, so it starts opening up. Yeah, thank you for being patient with me today on this. So that's our radius right now. Uh, the top could come down too. But if I approach and go, boink. There we go. That's what I'm looking for right there. So I'm going to bring the top down a little bit as well. That is awesome. Okay. And then the top we can bring down as well. That helps me so much to see that. Let's go to five. I may want to add clothes on here as well. I feel like that's pretty good. Right, my sensor is offset to the door. Exactly. Okay. I feel like that is probably good enough right there. And it's it's looks like it's right up on this edge right here uh, for clothes. So just extending the back. The back extent. How about we go to 20? Close it. Go back out there again. See what it looks like. And give it a try. I can see where those are handy for those sliding doors. Okay, yes. I, I like that too. I, 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 I like the idea that I'm going to be out here. I can pull up. And within this... I don't have to get like right up on Nessie's junk to get inside. Boat like this, and we go in. So now you guys talked about a timer block. So the timer would be required in order for it to, once I get in, a timer is going to trigger it, and it's going to say, okay, now it's safe to go ahead and close. Timer block. Okay, put this guy like down here. Or maybe I should put him someplace a little bit safer, maybe up here next to the uh, control panel. Uh, 
Uh, extend inside far enough to get inside before it closes, then it will also open automatically when you leave. Make a dedicated computer room. It can be put anywhere. Okay, so... However, there is a way I could do that, right? I mean, I could actually extend this in a little bit. As I come in, if I've got that set up to close, as soon as I'm out of the field, it should then close behind me. If I put close on there now, I'm wondering if it will stay open until I get past the field, and then it should close, right? Um... I need to go to G, right? Now, how do I... Yeah, I'm not planning on pressurizing this room. There we go. Setup actions. Thank you. Setup actions. Okay, so then I want to do this guy here, and I want to do... Close. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're closed. I pull up. Point. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for being patient with me. I really appreciate it. Come in. We pull forward. And the door closes. Awesome. Awesome. That's what I wanted to do. We got it. Yee-hoo! Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, okay, so then I could take and I go to... Is it set up... No, it's not set up actions. Hold on, don't tell me. Um, <laughs> info. There it is, info. Take that off. Show center of mass. There we go. That was activated earlier. Okay, so that does that. Now if I come up here like this, it's going to open. Granted, I'm really close to it here, but I'm thinking more like, well, you know what? If I push the button, I pull up here, we leave, we get out past it, past it, and then she's closing up behind me. That is exactly what I wanted it to do. That is perfect, just the way it is. We may have to adjust the internal sensor, the, the internal radius of it a little bit, but for the most part, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Keep it simple, stupid, especially for radio. Kiss. <laughs> and then we, we trickle on in. And voila, it is closing. Oh, awesome. Okay, awesome. And then I could have this as sort of a backup, if need be, to get in and out of that. <sighs> I like it. I like it a lot. You wanted to ignore subgrids. Ignore subgrids. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want. Nope. Det oh, I see. Okay. Detect subgrids off. Oh, but I do want it to do that, don't I? I do want it to detect subgrids because uh, what is the subgrid is going to be my other ship. No, no. <laughs> okay. Detect small ships. Detect floating objects. Floating objects. Detect owner. Detect friendly. Detect neutral. Detect enemy. I don't want it to detect enemy, right? A subgrid is a grid attached. Okay. Uh, detect small ships. Okay, detect owner, friendly, neutral, and detect enemy. I don't want it to do that, right? I don't want it to open for an enemy, so I'm going to turn that off. I'm assuming that's what that means. Detect asteroids off. Detect subgrids on. Detect small ships on.
Oh, okay, so just leave the rest of this stuff alone. Subgrid's off. The, so it's already set up the way it needs to be, just detect enemies off, right? Small ships on. Detect players. Uh, do I want it to detect players? Probably, huh? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I think that's I think that's it. Yeah, okay. I do want it to detect me if I need to come up. For some reason, I'm not in my ship. I want it to open up for me. We've got the side door, but, you know, it's always nice to have extra doors if I can. All right. <sighs> do flyby with a tick to check. Okay, all right. Let's 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 do flyby with a tick. We'll, we'll do it. Doors are closed. All right, we'll take the... Uh, we'll bring the weevil over. I don't think the weevil will actually fit in there. Which means we're going to have to um, come up with a smaller um, a smaller ship to get in there. We'll have to design something. Small grid ship. Okay. And we're going to do number one. We're going to do number... Well, it's not, you don't need to do number two because that doesn't make any sense. Uh, number four. And then I need to unlock the pads. Number nine. There we go. It's unlocked. She's almost wiped out the gun. I hate the way it throws you so far back and away from your ship when you get in. Oh man, I haven't flown her in a, forever in a day, man. Jeez. Just asking for trouble here. There it goes. Do you think this will fit in there? <laughs> I don't know. Looks like she might. Closed up. So if we stick with this size of ship, it should be good to go. There we go. Uh, okay. That's going to work. I don't want to use this ship, but um, it, it makes me think that I could possibly do a bit of a drill ship then to take out and have some, uh, have like a drill on it, right? Just a drill, maybe a welder on it as well. So it's kind of a maintenance ship. I mean, I could even take it and bring it back here and put it on this conveyor so it wouldn't be in the way at all. But let's put it right here at the moment so we can see it. Wow. 
We have air tightness, right? It's working. Now, theoretically, I should be able to hit J, take my helmet off, and I'm fine. I'm good to go throughout this entire area without my helmet on. Oh my gosh, look at there. See my beautiful eyes? <laughs> it's just the simple things in life for me. Uh, so we're full. We're full of air. We're full of air. Hot air, air. We're full of air. I go in here? What if I close the door in here? Seem to be okay in there too, with, even with the door closed. Alright, and up here. It should be good all the way through. So that's living quarters. We're, we've got air. We're good there. We look good here too. We look good. I think we're good. We appear to be okay. So now I'm going to put my helmet on and I'm going to walk out here. So this is going to fill this compartment up with air. If I walk out here, I don't even see that rush of air come out of there when I came out. But here, of course, Oh, this is also full of air. Hmm. We were going to keep this non, this was not going to be filled with air. So these doors are not working. Helmet's still off. That, I, I didn't think, I thought if I opened this door and walked in and closed it behind me. Now I've got O2 in here, but once I opened this, I thought I'd see a rush of air going out because this is not supposed to be part of the oxygenated area. I didn't want this area oxygenated. Right, if I open the hangar, it should. Really, that just by opening this, having a little bit of air in this compartment right here is enough to fill this with enough O2 to keep me from having problems, huh? Military escort. Yeah, I know. If I open the hangar doors, of course, we're going to be letting space in. But let's go ahead. I'll put my helmet on. Yeah, okay. Of course. I got a problem now. But if I do this... Now let's see. Let's see. Does this refill with air or am I still going to take damage? Okay, so it's closed. Give it a second. Okay, I'm still taking damage. All right. Okay. Okay. And I'm fine over here now. Beautiful. Okay. That'll work. That works. Awesome. Oh man, that was fun. Okay, that's really cool. Now I'm thinking I might need another one of these guys. These O2 H2 gens. Just to make sure I never fall behind on producing some of that. Because I am going to have... Well, I guess we talked about doing the ion thrusters and the atmospheric thrusters for the small grid ship that we're going to use to uh, go down on planets and explore planets. But I could put another H2 O2 generator on there. Do you think I need another one? I mean, it's producing, it's really the only job it's going to do is to produce O2 for the interior of the ship.
Try a different drawer. I had this problem with the offset doors. Okay, because what I was, yeah, what I was wondering was, um, put my helmet back on before I leave. This is the bigger door. Okay, now I can see the O2 leaving the ship right here, but if I close this now and I go back in here, take my helmet off, I'm okay. Okay. So I wonder if it's because I'm not using this door configuration down here, and that's what it is. That's what's causing it to not register that. Because, yeah, I don't want that back area to be o filled with O2 because I'm just going to be using more. What is that flashing light? What is that? Oh, helmet. What is that flashing light? Oh, it's just, is it just the sun coming through the ship? Hmm. All right, so maybe a different door configuration would be... Maybe, yeah, if I put one of those... Uh, let's go back to doors. What we've been doing for the airtight rooms is to do uh, this guy. This, the sliding door? I don't think it's the sliding door, is it? Yeah, this guy right here first, and then we put the offset door on the other side of it. I guess I could try it out and see what happens. Well, what I'm thinking is what I could do is here is go. And this could add to this whole area right here. And then I could do a decorative block on the side here. I'm fine with that. It's okay if it costs a little bit more. No big deal. Something like that right there we could do. And then I can add a different block up here. And I could do all kinds of different... I'll, I'll do something decorative up here for it. Now this should be, this has got air in it. Yeah, this has got air in it because, of course, we, you know, we've got the air on at the moment. Uh, not much longer we won't. Yeah, you think they're just not airtight, huh? They're letting the O2 through. That's fine. Do you there. And we'll put you right here. Get this stuff. Do we have all of our guts in the ship now? There's got to be some other guts I need in the ship that I've not thought of yet. I do that. Now, let's see what happens. Uh, I guess I should probably open the back the back hatch huh, for a little bit. Let's 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 let this open up. I don't think we have to open it all the way, right? It seems to suck. Oh, the jump drives, right? All right, let's uh again, test. Yep, yeah, I'm taking damage. I can hear my heart beating. Once that closes, if I take my helmet off, it should still be taking damage in here. Yep, okay. Take a damage. And here I'm fine, okay. Hmm. It's kind of funny. You don't see that rush of air come out of here like you do in the other one. But now I know that this is not being uh, filled back there. So that makes me a little happier to know that um, we're just filling this and then the uh, front part of the ship here. I think that's a good thing. 
let's go get healed up a little bit since I've been, uh, you know, toying with the uh, space. Oh, that's right, it does show me on the screen, too, that I've got, uh... Yeah, like I'm warm now, too. Haven't been warm forever <laughs> up here. It's always, it's always cold. Always cold. Uh, okay, so, and then we've got, yeah, the, uh, the jump drive. So, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the O2, because I don't want to use up all the ice at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Uh, how long does it stay O2 in here, now that that's off? I suppose if I leave the doors open, then we lose it, but there's got to be a limit to how long the O2 will stay in here uh, before it uh, eventually just kind of wears out and you've used it all up. Hours, you say, huh? Yeah, no extra energy. Yeah, being warm uh, reduces the energy consumption, drainage, to have to go back and get uh, refilled all the time. And Sam, you're saying that it's going to last, uh, but in a toilet, you would die in minutes. <laughs> so it should last for hours in here. Uh, and then if I were to start taking damage, I could just put my helmet on, come back over here, turn this on for a little bit, and it should be good to go. All right, so let's leave it just like that then. I like that. I am thinking seriously about doing this catwalk material all the way across here along the edge so that we've got this upper level and then we've got a lower level down below. I think that would look kind of cool. And then, okay, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We got the jump drive. Jump drive. We need to do, you guys, I think you recommended a couple of them at least, a couple jump drives. Right there. Can I, is, do I, do I now have enough room for you? I do. Okay, do like that right there. How hard is that? That's set up right over the top of cargo. Up against that. So what do you think? Those two guys right there should look pretty pretty sweet, right? We've got the, uh, the mechanism here, number seven. We should be able to see that mechanism, the um, whatever, the turbine or whatever that is right there. We'll see that. With a control panel, and then of course we got the four lights on there to tell us when it's charged. You guys say this thing takes a little while to charge. And so we're going to have to wait for that stuff to happen. But um, if they go right there, they should fit. So that's jump drives. We got a reactor, the jump drives. Is there anything else other than that exploratory ship that we need on here? Jump drive takes seven and a half minutes to fully charge. Oh, that's not so bad. Building one is fine. Ship can be improved later. Oh, gotcha. Batteries. I've got I've got batteries. I have three here. We've got three batteries right here, and then I have two here. I've got one above each, uh, one above the bathroom, and one above the shower. Uh, it was said that probably five is good enough. What do you think? Should I have even more than that? What's the recommendation there? Because I don't know if I can put a few more over the top. I think this is exterior. No, we could put, it looks like we could probably get away with putting them underneath here if we needed to. And there's places we could put them down here and tuck them in also. Oh, catwalk. Batteries are useful as they are heavy. Uh, spread them out. Yeah, that's why I put two up there. I've got three down here, so maybe I do a few um, back here in the, uh, the the hold. Back there as well. Eight. that there. What I'm thinking about doing here is putting this guy here, this guy here. We'll go into that area there. Uh, we don't really need that there. Just to be able to get to that conveyor, just to say, you know, in case we do, we do that right there, we do that there. And then we'll put the one with the railing here. Uh, 
And same thing here. We can't walk through there anyway, so I thought this might be a good thing to do. Just to run it by you guys real fast, we'll do this right here. So we put those guys right there and we'll mimic that on the other side. And now we can at least reach everything. It, you know, I don't know. We, we don't have to really reach that conveyor, but it looks nice that we can if we needed to. <clears throat> we do something like that. We got another conveyor right there. And we're still able to go, you know, down here. to run this by you real fast here. Just like that. I don't like the fact that they I can't really adjust the way the grid goes. I've talked about that before, but you know, for the most part, that looks pretty nice, I think. And it, it kind of finishes off the floor, at least on this one side here. And then I wouldn't mind adding a, a, a few lights along here, too, so that when we're walking through here, of course, it's not, you know, this is what it looks like right now. It's a little too dark. We'll add some lights so you guys can see better for sure. Uh, we got our staircases that go down, and we can still get underneath here and do whatever needs to be done underneath here. And uh, we'll put antenna on. Yeah, we'll, we've got the exterior stuff. I figure we've, we still have some thrusters. We need to figure out where we're going to put those. Uh, the weaponry has to go there. And we're going to have to run some um, conveyor to that so we can actually uh, arm the weapon. So we'll have to figure out how that's going to go. Um, an antenna. You're mentioning a beacon would be a good thing as well. Or a beacon or antenna, right? One or the other. Um, above doors. If you don't play modded, there is no reason not to have a beacon antenna. We are going to have that. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not playing on modded, but I would like to have a beacon or an antenna. Just to make sure I can find my way back to stuff because my sense of direction is el crapo. You know, my, my yeah. The, the, the most exciting thing today, which, and thank you again for all the help with it, was the fact that we now have a um, a door back here that I can just, you know, we'll be able to get our little ship in here, pull it in, and we're going to be able to leave. This is so awesome. I love it to death. This is great. And we can fly out, and voila, the door is going to close behind us. And that is just fantastic. I love that a whole lot. That is just amazingly cool. So we've got the back end of Nessie taken care of. NESI, I'd like to try to get that on the side, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to put letters along the side here at this angle. Just a few things here before we call it uh, a stream. Uh, Farthest Frontier, I'll be streaming that this afternoon from one to three errors at a time. We're going to get a launch the Farthest Frontier. We're launching two new games this week on the channel. The other one is that Survival... Um, oh God, what's it called? Survival... Something alien. Everybody's playing it right now. I went and picked it up, and I wanted to try that out, too. It looks pretty fun. We're inviting a reaver with your signal. Yeah, there, there's that, too. We haven't really had too much problem here at the base. We've got an antenna on our base here, too, of course. But, um, you know. I guess, yeah, you'd want to keep that stuff turned off. The Nessie sensor. Oh, the sensor shows up. How far away does that show up? But there's still work to be done on it. There's still a lot of work to be done on the ship before we can even fire it up and get it to kind of come over here and dock with the uh, the platform like I want it to do. Uh, but we're, we're getting closer. We're getting closer for sure. Started making some of the thruster parts. Uh, we got to get the jump drives put together and a few other things need to be finished up in there. And then weaponry on the ship. I don't know if I want to go crazy with the weapons, but I do want to have uh, some of this, a bit of a rocket launcher and a bit of this too. 
Those rockets are expensive. That's for sure. I'm, I'm thinking against these possibly on the ship. Something that doesn't... Uh, don't, those, those require uranium for the missiles. <clears throat> I don't like the idea of using uranium for the missiles. So um, you know, maybe a bunch of these guys will be dotted across the ship with the ability to, of course, fire at uh, anything that comes at us. Uh, but that's going to wrap up the stream. Thank you again so much for all your help today, especially with that sensor back there and the hangar doors. It worked out. We've got it figured out. We uh, tested it with our old uh, antique ship there, and it worked out just fine. So that's fantastic. We are uh, getting closer to going away and uh, exploring the space. So I want you guys to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.